Hey guys, I ignore my messy hair. I ignore my messy hair. I wanted to make today's video. First up, I don't know if we're getting a video tomorrow or not. Because I'm thinking I might just take one day. One day off. But for today's video, first up, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. I wanted to kind of do like a Q&A with like questions and things and with my own questions. So, yeah, I came up with a giant list in my head of questions that I'm just going to be answering that way you guys get to know a little bit about. I mean, the first one is one of my favorite things to do on the dance hammock. Or the aerialist dance hammock. Generally, right now, my favorite thing to do on it is to just, um, there's this thing that I do, um, where I basically lay down in it, and I hang upside down, and my legs wrap around it, and I go hands free. That's, like, my favorite thing to do. Um, I feel like it's generally my favorite thing because it's a little bit more challenging for me. It's pretty easy, but also it's just fun. The next question kind of goes with that question, which is how often do I get to go on the dance hammock? And I chose this one because I'm always dancing. I honestly don't get to go on it much. I love going on it. It's a lot of fun. But I generally don't get to go on it much because I'm constantly rushing for dance. Well, not even rushing. Sometimes it's kind of throughout the day. I like, I, I'm either like doing school, doing chores, or I'm just busy watching YouTube or TikTok or like filming or doing something else. Like I never. To, I don't get to go on it often, but I do love to go on it. The next question is, what is, is my list of, like, my, like, what is my list of things I am terrified of? Oh, um, this list is long, but I'm going to be telling you the entire list. Number one, I would probably say, like, the thing that I'm most terrified of is generally fake snakes. I hate fake snakes. I am terrified of them. Like, and that kind of is a problem because they have them at a lot of stores. Like, I remember, like, this one vacation that, like, me and my parents went on when we had just got Sam. We, like, had checked out Sam. We went on a vacation to go see some family. And we went into the store that, like, we never, like, been in before. But it seemed like a well-known store. I forget what it was called or something. And we went in, and, like, we were looking around. We found, like, JoJo stuff. And then I went down, like, a toy aisle and found fake snakes. And I freaked out and ran off the aisle. Like, I have a big fear of fake snakes. And, unfortunately, they're, like, everywhere. Like, I'd gone to Walmart and found them. Like, I just freak out. Actually, fun little story is that I actually had, when I was little, I wasn't terrified of them. When I was little, I would ignore them and want nothing to do with them. I wasn't terrified of them. And we don't know why randomly one day I got terrified of them. But generally, like, it kind of went, I went through a phase. There was one where I, like, kind of one time that we went into a store and I like, was a little bit scared of them, but, like, not that big of a deal. You know, and so I just quickly, like, ran past them because I think I was, like, getting flying supplies or something, like, and then, and 
But then right after that is when I got terrified of them. For literally out of nowhere, I got terrified of them. And me and Bella and my sister and her sister were all at like a store or something. Or no, I don't think her sister was there. I'm not sure. Can't really remember. But we were at a store and I was like kind of on the aisle next to where they were, but like... Like, not on the same aisle, like, and I looked down that one aisle where they were, because Bella was on the aisle looking at something, and then all of a sudden, like, I was, like, freaked out, out and, like, because she wasn't sure if I thought they were real or not, like, even though I knew they were fake, and so she straight up picks one up, like, not bringing it near me or anything, like, not trying to meet her, and she's just like, see, they're not real, and I went running, <laughs> I literally ran to the other side of the store, like, I was freaked out, and then she apologized afterward, because she wasn't trying to traumatize me or anything, but I have a big fear of them, another thing on my list of fears, this one, is one that I am terrified of, like, this one is, equally as bad and it's not just the fake snakes that I'm too but it's all the little like things like that like the little tiny or the only one that I can ever think was at one point my mom picked out like two like the whole like I packed with like two dinosaurs or something that were kind of like that but they were like super small and like super fake I wasn't terrified of them but anyways, what happened was, um, is the robot dinosaurs. So what I mean by that, and so this is a thing that, like, I guess is everywhere. Or at a lot of different, like, aquariums and, just, like, museums and, like, different places, like, fun, like, like, history and science museum, and I guess they're at, like, a lot of places, and I'm not exactly sure, because, um, and this started when I was really little, and I guess they're at some zoos and stuff, where when I was really little, only, like, there's one zoo that's, like, a big zoo, very open, like, it's, like, a very nice, like, zoo, and, like, I guess the animals are, like, kind of in cages, but they're not, like, super small. Like, they have space. It's, like, obviously they, like, have, like, glass and stuff between. So, like, because they're not about to just let, like, I, a tiger, like, run wild and, like, chase after someone. Like, no, but, like, very open and very nice. And I feel like I wasn't prepared. But anyway, the one time... Um, my dad and me, like, we went there, and they had one there, and it was an outdoor, like, place with these robot dinosaurs. First up, I didn't know they were robots, okay, like, at first, like, I was really little, like, I want to say I was, like, thinking back on it, I think I was, like, six, almost seven, like, right around the timing, like, a little bit before I had met my crush or something, or it might have been right after, I can't fully remember, but, uh, my dad and me went to one, and it was like a trail, so what they did was there was this giant trail, and in the middle of this, we like robot dinosaurs, and then in the middle of the trail, there's like kind of a spot with none on, but there's like a sand thing that had like these like, things, so basically, you could pull these things down and make, like, it was like a sandbox, basically, and we, that had, like, these things that you would pull, oh, and you could press into the sand, and it would make, like, a dinosaur, like, footprint or something in the sand, and, and it had, like, shovel and stuff, and basically, what happened was, we went into it, and at first, I was fine, 
and then all of a sudden, a dinosaur kind of like nudged me like slightly. I freaked out and started crying. Like I freaked out, and then there was this giant like T Rex robot dinosaur. All of these are robots, but they like make sound and they kind of like move a little bit, but they don't really walk. Cause I have, well, I don't know if they really walk or not. I haven't seen. And I freaked out and got traumatized by it. And instantly my dad literally like picked me up and ran me out of there because I was terrified. And then, and yeah, and so I basically ended up not doing it. And then, and then what happened, and then like, Eventually, he explained that they were like robots, they're not real, but it traumatized me, and eventually one day I had to go through it all over again, and I did not handle it well, because I knew what to expect, and the reason I had to do it again was because um, me and like, like some family were like at like the zoo, and or no, I'm, oh wait, no, that was not the case. Me and family were at, like, a different, like, I think it was, like, an aquarium or something where they had them. And I kind of knew what to expect, like, but I didn't really know the ending too much, but I was, like, freaked out. And basically, I generally can't remember. I think it was an aquarium, but... Uh, everyone wanted to do it, and I was, like, freaked out, like, I did not want to do it, like, and then finally my sister, I all told you the whole time, like, because I was little enough to where she could tell me, you still, and we got through it, luckily, we tried to get through it fast, and I was freaked out, so yeah, I hate those robot dinosaurs, and then... My sister, like, went to one, I guess, like, last week or something, and posted pictures, or, like, on her, like, private, like, Facebook account or something, because, like, she posted pictures, basically. If when you all cannot see it, I'm not promoting her Instagram or anything. And luckily, I did not see the pictures. I saw my dad kind of look at one of them, and it looked like it was indoors. I only, I didn't know they had indoor ones, I only knew outdoor ones, and I was, I, luckily I did not see that. So yeah. The next thing on my list of fear, because I have a couple more, which is clowns. I do not do good with clowns. And then, and like, and then we got the, um, and like characters that like don't look like people. Like that one, fun fact, when I was really little, we did not know that. And there's pictures of, we went on like a vacation, and there's pictures of me with, and a character with Dora the Explorer. And go Diego go. And I actually have memories of that. And I remember being like, i scared, but we didn't know why. And then eventually, luckily, right after that was when we realized. So yeah, I have a lot of fears. Oh, and we can't forget something painted on the bottom of a swimming pool. Like, that's definitely on that one. I feel like there's other things I'm forgetting. And like bugs, lizards, pretty much any animal but Sam, and like I'm fine with some dogs. And I completely ignore like I house cats. Like, luckily I'm not around them too much. Like I haven't been around one in years. But like, yeah. So there is certain stuff, but like. Mm. I'm sure there's more to the list I'm forgetting, but yeah, that is my list of like, I'm my top fears. 
and there's not really one that my I my like biggest one. They're all kind of equal. I would say the one that like like they're all like very much equal. I feel like if I had to pick one that like was maybe not as bad as the other, it would be bugs. But I'm still terrified of bugs. I feel like bugs, the reason they're not as, like, big as the rest is because, for example, um, I have spray that, like, I can spray and it will die. So, like, that kind of fixes that fear a little bit. <clears throat> um, the next question that I came up with is what is one thing that I used to have a fear of, but I no longer have a fear of? Well, this, they're kind of, they're actually kind of like two. I'm trying to think here, maybe like two or three. And one that I will say, this one is, like, I'm, I definitely don't like, still, like, I still don't like it, but I'm not scared of it anymore, it's the dark. Like, when I was little, I had a, I was terrified of the dark. Fear, I had a fear of the dark, and luckily I don't anymore. I do not like being in the dark, but I do not have a fear over it anymore. But that kind of worked because now we figured out how to fix that fear. And I become, I was when I was little, like, it was just what it was. But then eventually, only thanks to my sister, we actually figured out how to fix that fear, which was, when I was little, I had a fear of, like, just going to bed because dark, like, soft, like, I, and every time I would go, like, stay at, like, my sister's house, we would, like, Bella's sister would, like, always be there, and we would, like, share a room, like, I, you know, we're family, we would have, like, sleepovers, like, we would have, like, two separate, it then at first we had sleeping bags, but at first they were like not fully moved into like a place, and we would do like fun sleepovers. Um, and she would always even have like a nightlight in there, which I had nightlight before, but they like barely did anything. But then, and I think like the nightlight that they like had like broke or something over time, and then. She started using a lamp, so she would turn on this lamp, and, and she would face it up against the wall, and the whole room would, would be, like, I'm not dark, but, like, not crazy bright, and it was amazing. And because of that, we figured out how to fix that fear. I would say another one would definitely, like, singing and, like, dancing, like, that sort of thing. And it was never caused by anything. I will say it was never caused by anything. It was just naturally a fear that, like, I was the type where I wouldn't even dance in my room alone. Like, when no one was in the room, I would not even dance. Like, for me, like, that, just the thought of that sort of stuff traumatized me for some reason. But it didn't really traumatize me. It just, like, I had a massive fear of that, like, and the thing was, I, I was, like, a little bit more fine in front of, like, people that I, like, didn't know, but even then, I was still, like, very terrified of it. I, I just had a fear of that, and luckily, I'm gonna say this, and this is gonna basically just give my crush more credit and stuff, and it sounds like an excuse to talk about him, but it's not. This is the truth. Generally, I never told anyone about the fear. Like, that was something. I never told anyone. I think everyone just kind of knew. And because of my crush, that's actually a big part of why I do what I do now. Like, when I was little, I would have... Like, I, the thing that I wanted to do least... Well, actually, not least. I'm not even going to say least. But... Like, I never want to sing or dance in front of people. 
or, or even just in front of myself. Like, I can't even see myself, like, what I mean is, like, not even just in my room by myself. But because of him, he always would, like, he would always, he's, like, trying to, like, change the no to me singing into a yes, and then he eventually, like, over time, I stopped having that fear because of him. Still not great. I feel like now I don't mind it and if it's in front of professional people or people that I have no clue who they are. Right? If it's like a safe environment like like it always is and it's in front of like professional people or people that I don't know, then I'm fine with it. If it's in front of family, that goes back and forth. It depends on if it's a lot of people watching, like if it's a lot of people watching it, family, you know, um, there's no, like, that fear basically got fixed. And I feel like I'm happy that's fixed. And it's not even dancing anymore, it's singing that I would say that is, like, what's left. So, yeah, like, those are, like, some of the fears that I eventually got over. Next question that I came up with is what is one unexpected thing that I never thought I would have any interest in buying but I buy all the time now. I would say petite and pretty stuff like I say this like specifically like makeup and skincare. I never thought I would have interest in that or even just buying clothes. And now I, like, buy squad clothes, like, sometimes. And stuff, so, like, yeah, like, like, so I'm being excited and about, like, I feel like that's what it is now. And so that's, like, great. Then, So yeah, airplane. But I'm accepted by petite and pretty stuff, which is like skincare and makeup. And the funny thing is, it's like really expensive, but I generally love it. And also, the next question is, how have I changed since I was little? Like personality-wise, like that one I came up with because I feel like I changed a lot throughout my life. I feel like when I was little and like, I would say like, kind of like before I met my crush up through like, I would say like the first like maybe like year of knowing my crush, I was definitely a little kid. Like I definitely had a toddler brain. Like I was not aware of like, I, I was not aware of life really like what I mean by that is I was the thing that I knew was school and eventually like because when I was like two I wasn't in school like but like when I started school like it was school food and playing with like toys and stuff family and then like cartoons and, like, occasionally, like, movies, even, like, kid movies, like, I brain and different, like, kid movies. And, and that was about it. Like, I feel like, oh, and then, like, just basic, like, breathing and stuff. But, like, for the most part, like, I was very unaware of, like, bullying or really any like a lot of like stuff like I feel like I didn't even real I wasn't even really aware of my own personality like maybe like kid like eventually I grew out of that and I feel like that like I changed a lot I feel like now I I have changed a lot throughout the years and I feel like now I'm like the best version of myself 
Um, and I honestly don't think I'll, like, forever, like, stay the same, like, version, because I'm always changing. Like, I literally look at myself now, and I look at myself, like, two months ago, and I'm, like, I change, like, but it's, like, little things that, like, I, two months ago, I, like, was, let me think of that, like, figure out how I'm going to put this in words. I'm thinking for a second. And what I mean is, like, two months ago, I feel like I I wasn't big into, like, I was definitely big into, like, skincare, like, but I wasn't big into buying, like, makeup. Although I, um, like, for a while now, I know I would eventually buy, like, petite and pretty makeup. But also, like, on top of that, like, I feel like two months ago, I know, like, I, well, really, I'm thinking about it, and I feel like that's about it, like, here and there, like, every once in a while, like, all seat changes, I definitely will think, like, now I'm more focused and more dedicated towards being a pop star than I was two months ago, and I feel like just barely, because two months ago, I was so caught up, and, like, hard work and, like, all of that and, like, doing it because I love it, like, but I feel like two months ago I almost had more fun. Let me put it this way. I just feel like out of, like, um, like, two months ago I would have looked at, like, I, the late nights of dance, like, tonight, I am, like, more of a negative, and now I look at it as a positive, so, like, I changed on that, like, because tonight's going to be a really late night, like, from 4.30 till 11.30 at night, like, that's, like, 4.30 in, like, the, like, evening to 11.30 at night, that can be, like, a lot. So, like, that has changed. I feel like I'm constantly changing in a good way. I feel like some stuff, like, I move past, some stuff stays, and at the end, I'm happy. And the next question that I came up with is, what is my favorite thing about Sam? Sam is my dog. He is my baby. And, like, I feel like I love everything about him. Like, but if I had to pick, like, I'm going to do, like, my top four, like, favorites. I feel like I generally love it that he never let me get down. Like, I... Like, he's the type where if I'm crying over something, which which hasn't happened in forever, and, like, well, I cried in my life. I'm just saying, like, I'm nothing negative, like, nothing, like, in a super negative way or, like, a sad way. It's, like, like, that's why I've been things happen, and the last time that I can really think of, I don't even remember. Truthfully, but like I love that if I'm like crying over something like, for an example, the week when I thought I lost Bella as a friend, like that was like a hard week. He didn't like it at all. Like he kept coming up to me. He kept like sniffing me. He kept like I like, rolling over. He kept like trying to get me to like notice him. Like I he kept like bringing me his toy and he like. I, I want you to throw my toy and be happy. Like, he was just trying everything he could think of to make me happy again. And it actually worked a lot. Like, I love him. He always, like, generally, I have to say he is one of my best friends. He's my baby. And I would say I also just love um, that he's filled with energy. <laughs> he's filled with energy, but he can also be lazy. And I feel like that fits me perfectly because um, I say that because I'm the type when nothing is going on and every once in a while I'll like, well, no, I'm the type where I'm filled with energy, constantly filled with energy, constantly wanting to like just have fun and dance and like all of that. And so also every once in a while I hit that lazy spot and then I'm just lazy. So I feel like he fits me there in person. 
Like, there's some, I love everything about him. Like, I generally do not have a favorite. And, like, I just, I love him a lot. I'm going to do, like, one or two more questions. The next question is, what is some, I'm going to make a part two to this video. Because the next question I realize has a lot that comes with it.